What's up, people? This is G Man on Live Forever on it. <clears throat> and I want to talk about cleansing your bowels. Now, nah, cleansing your body. Um, I seen a video about this. Um, I wouldn't call it the disease, I just call it maggots under your dick, whatever. Um, for the uncircumcised brothers out there, you know. Some of y'all, you know, I've, I've heard some of y'all don't be cleaning out your area, you know, you don't fold the skin back, you know what I'm saying? And, and this, you know, this is from a heterosexual man, you know, this ain't no homo shit. This is from a heterosexual man, you know. I was watching these women talk about this uh, condition called smegma, smegma or whatever. Uh, I put the description of it in the description, um, but basically it's when you don't clean your penis uh, under the fold. I mean, you know, women go gaga and goo goo for the mass of the penis, you know, because you know the, the average penis size out here is five, five point nine, you know, um, you know, and for black males it's a little bit bigger, maybe, you know, whatever. I, I don't know, you know, I. You know, women know that shit, you know, but I just Wikipedia, you know, went to Wikipedia and, you know, looked it up. But, um, but that being said, you know, for women, you know, it's about the width during sex, you know, it's straight from Wikipedia. And, you know, we, you know, go on, you know, the length of it and everything. And, you know, we, we kind of cuss our parents out for not, you know, for for not letting us keep our skin, you know, for not letting us keep the fold because, you know, it makes it look bigger and makes it look wider and longer or whatever. Well, the shit is hard to clean, you know what I'm saying? It's not an easy task. It's not like, you know, you can, uh, you, you're going to fold that bitch back every day. You know, niggas just, you know, basically... You know, sometimes we don't even shower every day. You know, we just hop in our clothes, go out and do what we do, you know. So it's a lot of uncircumcised niggas out here ain't cleaning they junk, you know. And that spreads diseases, you know, which in turn, you know, goes to a woman's mouth or a woman's uh, pussy hole or asshole or whatever. Then when she breaks, up, breaks it off with your ass, you know, she breaks up with you. Then, you know, she's passing it off to other niggas, you know, that damn uh, uh, muffin top mouth, you know, she passing off uh, wheat bread through her mouth, you know, all that yeast and shit, you know, um, and she's transferring all these diseases. Uh, speaking of which, you know, the super gonorrhea is out right now, they can't cure it, you know, they've studied that shit in Japan or whatever, and you can't get a simple shot anymore, you know, they gotta really medicate your ass because they done mutated and got stronger than the immune uh, vaccine you know but anyway with that being said um, we got a lot of women out here that's just sucking on these um, uncircumcised penises with this smegma on it and smegma if you want a description of how it looks it looks like maggots resting on a dick you know it looks like some damn it just it's just squirming and it looks like fucking broken toilet tissue paper you know under the fold you know it, it looks like somebody put oatmeal on it but um you know just imagine that being in your girl's mouth at one time you know i mean not unless it was you you know what i'm saying i mean women let's let's face it you know Women are a little bit more promiscuous than back in the day. You know, this ain't the 1950s anymore, you know. Uh, women get around, you know. They doing anything and everything as experimental, quote unquote. Um, but we know what it is, you know. Uh, I just recently heard about the, uh, the slut walk where, you know, women were claiming they could wear what they want, when they want, and not get raped, mouth raped, and anally raped, and vaginally raped you know what I'm saying but you know that's a bunch of bullshit you know they giving her them cheeks every other night you know to some nigga you know it can be just some random nigga they just giving up them damn cheeks you know but um in turn you know this goes back into the diseases the smegmas and the super gonorrhea even the super AIDS you know I mean 
a lot of women out here don't protect themselves every time, you know. And niggas are gullible to fall for that shit, you know, just going up in the pussy raw. And, you know, you going up in wheat bread, you know, you going up in bread pudding, you know, and tuna fish. You know, it, you know it don't smell right. And you putting your dick in there anyway, you know, and you just passing along the damn disease, you know. And then a good, um, clean nigga like me come up on one of these hoes, you know. Shit burning through the condom, <laughs> you know. How the hell, how the hell am I, am I gonna look? My dick gonna be looking like a West Side sign and shit, you know, because y'all funky asses, you know. Because people date around, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, especially in a small town, you can get really fucked up in a small town, you know. Um, I mean, it's getting warm and warm outside. It's getting hot. Ladies stripping down to they fucking um underwear and shit. You know, and they fucking every other day, you know. A lot of shit is getting spread, you know, and a lot of um these little STDs, as we used to call them, ain't little no more. These shits are super. <laughs> these shits done mutated. It's like fucking uh fucking shredder, then there's super shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know. You 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 gonna need a bigger team to fight this shit off, you know? And um when it gets on you they can't just shoot you with a shot anymore. They, can't, they, just, they just can't feed you no penicillin and be like, come back in two days. Nah, this shit is like AIDS, you know? They even got super fucking AIDS, you know? It's like, ain't no running away from this shit. So please clean your cells, pull it back, you know? Ladies, dush, you know? Ladies, clean that shit out, please, you know? I'll buy you a damn kit, you know? Just clean your shit out, you know? Clean your mouth out, mouthwash. Uh, you know, clean your mouth with peroxide, it, all that shit. You know, go to a damn CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, uh, Kmart. You know, go to the medical section. Ask them what you can do to clean your mouth and vaginal and anal holes out. You know, so a nigga like me won't catch your shit. You know, because I've been to the doctor. You know, I've gotten the thorough checkouts. You know, and there's a lot of people around here, especially women, that are hosts to these damn super diseases that they can't get off you know and they won't tell you that they got it you know unless you see that damn bread pudding leaking out of their damn hole you know <laughs> you see some yellow green shit you know it's time to split but um that's g-man on live fever on it just warning y'all about these damn diseases because they're growing more and more stronger every day so um it just boils down to people being unclean but uh SG Men on Life, everyone. Subscribe. Peace.